Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video we are going to be installing Hugo from Source. Now if you don't know what Hugo is, it is a static site generator. It's very fast and it's written in Go. This is not a video on how to use Hugo. I have other videos on that. Check those out. Um, anyways, this is how to install Go or Hugo from Source. Now you might want to install Hugo from Source. Say, you know, you just wanted the latest features or who knows you might have your own reason anyways it's a cool and kind of fun experience so let's get started i have removed go and hugo all traces of them from my system so i am starting from a clean slate here first thing first we need to install go um i am on an arch linux system right now or arc linux however you want to pronounce it and uh, so that means I'm using Pac-Man as my package manager. If you are on a different distribution of Linux, then you will use that package manager. Um, it should be a pretty similar process. So I'm gonna say sudo pacman and dash s is for install and just go. And yes, I want to do that. So we'll install go. And there we go. Now we have go installed. So the next thing we need to do is install Hugo. Go has this really interesting, well, and useful tool, go git, and then we can go get a package from, say, GitHub, and it will install it for us. And that dash V flag is just so that it's verbose. Um, so we actually get output of what is going on at the time. So I'm gonna say github.com slash go Hugo IO. That's, um, uh, the username or organization name, and then Hugo, that's the repo name. And that's all, so we'll start that off. And as you can see, it's downloading a bunch of different um, pieces of code from all over the internet, mostly from GitHub, it looks like right now. And when it's done downloading those, it will compile and install them, and it will give us a Hugo executable. Okay, so it looks like it's finishing up right about now, and it's done. So now let's try it out. Say Hugo version just to see what we have, and oh, it, command is not found. Well, the reason for that is go, when you say go get, it installs Hugo or whatever package you had it go get into its own directory that isn't currently in our path and the path variable is an environment variable where your system will search for commands that you want to run. Um, so the, the directory that go puts Hugo in is your home directory um, slash go slash bin. Okay, um, and then we have a Hugo executable there. So if I say Hugo version, then it says we have Hugo static site generator version 0.28-dev for development version and then it gives us the build date which is in my case it is september 12th and about 9:55. that is the time that it was built cool so we have that and obviously we want to use it outside of this directory because we're not going to be building sites in the hugo slash bin directory so we need to add Hugo to our path, and that is a pretty basic exercise. Um, if you're on a Linux system, check out this same tutorial except on a Windows system. If you're on Windows, obviously, <laughs> why are you watching a Linux one if you're on Windows, but okay. Um, so on Linux, we simply have to edit, um, I'm using ZSH, if you're on Bash, um, you is you'd edit your bash rc file but i would need to edit my zshrc file and um all that you need to put in there is export and then um path equals and now you can either say path colon and then home slash go slash bin or you can put this little bit before your path it's all up to you depending on what you want searched first. Um, but I don't need to add that to my ZSH RC right now. And there you go. That is how you install Hugo from source. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something from it. My name is Jacob, and have a good one.